Atheist Republic members help man living on the street in India. So one thing I love about Atheist Republic is that sometimes I accidentally find out uh, what our members are doing just because I, I just hear about it on accident because our, our community is so large that um, sometimes, you know, these things don't even come to my attention at the time. But I recently discovered this really sweet video um, of uh, some of our members in, um, let me, what's the name of it? Oh yeah, Sili Guri in West Bengal, um, helping this guy who was living on the street. And I thought it was really sweet. Wait, do you want to play it? Yes, I, did. I wasn't going to play it while you were talking because it's going to... Oh, there's uh, no sound. Oh, it has no... There's no sound. Okay. So this is Atheist Republic India? Yes. You know, mm. I went to our different consulates in India and I was posting about it and I was trying to, I was trying to track down these guys and talk to them about it, but I haven't been able to find them yet. So if there's anyone who's... Um, a member of our consulates in um well particularly northeast india and happen uh, mm. to know who these guys are i would love i would love to talk to them um because i haven't been able to find them yet and i wanted to talk to them about like when this happened and um what motivated them to do this so in this video and apparently the script in the corner um in bengali it mm. says youth so I don't know why it says youth, like what the relevance is to that. But if anyone is wondering what that um, text says, that's what that means. And um, yeah, so they just like come across this guy on the street and they help cut his hair and they shave his beard and they shave his face and then they wash off his body and um, they like give him some new clothes to help cover himself. And you can kind of see on his right leg, he has this giant bandage around his um his calf and then they help replace the bandages on his leg because um it's severely broken um it's just like bent in a way that um it's just a, a leg is not supposed to bend um so after they wash him off and get him some new clothes they help uh take him to uh the hospital it's amazing how people could just be forgotten like that. Um, and, you know, like, videos like this could inspire more people because, you know, like, when you see a video like this and you get, like, a warm, fuzzy feeling, it gives you some hope for humanity. Mm -hmm. Also, like, we need, like, because there's a lot, a lot of content out there that just makes us hate the world, hate humanity. Um, so sometimes we need like we need to like cleanse our mind and our eyes with something to feel like to not give up, right? And also to be encouraged not to just be a consumer of stuff like this. Because like like this doesn't take much to do something like this, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um so Yeah, they're just like four what, or five guys and I don't yeah, know. I, I mean, don't know they why can, they just decided to go help this dude. Yeah, I mean, if they can do it, why can't, like, you do it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, why can't anybody who's watching? Like, there's nothing stopping you from doing something like this, right? So I think it should be used as, like, an inspiration to be like, yeah, I can I can do something like that. Like, I could be, I could make, I could change. Like, just something, something so, so simple like this could make me, like, this is could be the best event in some person's life. You could save somebody. From even if you can't fix the entire world, you could fix this person's world, right? You know what I mean? Like you could be like, oh, it doesn't. Oh my God, do you see his leg? Jesus Christ, it was completely. Oh crooked. yeah, oh yeah. Like this person probably hasn't been loved or cared for like this for ever. And guys, like if you think like, why would we like if you think like? why would you want to record this and you know congratulate yourself like this you we need this we need stuff like this to be inspired by and also to <laughs> to not give up on humanity and mm -hmm. also to to also see what's possible and to also see what little it takes for us to be able to be helpful 
and again like a lot of people are discouraged to help because how much crap is out there like i want to like re emphasize this one more time right mm -hmm. because you see what you do compared to how much evil out is out there it seems so insignificant that it seems like it's worthless to do anything because you see like before i did something helpful and after i did something helpful the world's level of good evil didn't change that much so you think like the world is still a shitty place so why would i do anything like this but you have to change your perspective for that one person that you you know helped that person's world you were a significant person per part of that person's world right so just look at from that person's perspective yeah from the perspective of the universe you're insignificant but from that individual's perspective you were everything mm -hmm. yeah i think um like i also wanted to highlight this because you know so many people firmly believe that the basis of charity is religion and that's all and or that good acts are only good if they're done in the name of god which is one of the most like offensive sentiments i've ever heard it pisses me off so much and you don't have to go do good charitable acts because you were told to that you were commanded to um you know you can do good acts because you see pain in the world and you want to do what you can to alleviate it um i also um, you know, wanted to encourage people to join our consulates um, that we have. So if you guys are interested in finding atheists in your community, you can go to atheistrepublic.com slash consulates. In fact, let me get um, a link to post in the live chat. And, yeah, um, you know, help, you can find people that you can go, you know, organize and do this kind of stuff with yourself. Um, and if you we would love to highlight your work if you like to do some kinds of things like this or other charitable things as well um like this was this wasn't even posted by them this was posted look how like atheist is being used in a non-taboo way, way here like this page is like it's just like a humanist global charity and it's just like video of atheist republic india washing is like you know, I, yeah, another effect of like recording stuff like this is like it helps like fight the taboo of atheism as well. So there's a, it's an, another side effect of that. Um, like w w can, you, you're trying to find these people and talk to them? Is that what yeah. you're trying to do? Yeah, I haven't been able to find them yet in our different consulates. And I dug through the consulates that are closest to, the, to this area to try to find wow. maybe someone who posted it there. And I couldn't find it. So I'm still trying to find these guys. Like, okay, guys, we have consulates um, in, like, Susanna put the link here. And also, if you just search on Google for Atheist Republic consulates, if you are in India, make sure you use a VPN. Um, maybe by next week, not this week, get NordVPN. <laughs> um j just no sh i'm kidding just get uh, just use any vpn and just search for atheist republic consoles because f i for people who don't know we've been banned in by some isps in india so that's why i'm saying use a vpn and then fi find your local consulate and there are p other people there that maybe you could like organize something in your city um to do something like this with be oh just be careful be mindful of whatever uh risks health wise you know with the whole disease that is going around um and also legal or like you know, just you know we're not you are more aware of local issues than we are like so be mindful of that um wait what i also wanted to yeah. say was um Wow, it just it slipped through my mind. Oh, yeah. So if if you do want to join our consulates, we do have, I think, between 14 and 18 different local groups in India. But we did take them down from the um, main page on our website because our admins and our members were being targeted by Hindu nationalists. So if you do oh. want to join our in-person community in India, um, please email me at Susanna, which is spelled S-U-S-A-N-N-A, at atheist republic um dot com and um because we have to have um a little bit more security for those consulates we can't have them um as public anymore 
And then for people who are wondering what that blue text said, um, earlier I said that it said youth, and but I didn't know the context, and Katie is helping me with that context. So Katie is saying it says youth to show that Indian youth has a bright future. In India, when Post says something like youth or younger gens with something good being done, it usually means that. That's so See? sweet. I love that. This is what I'm telling you. This is what every time we have bad news about India, I sometimes like not every time, but often I try to remind people that I'm actually very optimistic with all the bad news that comes out of India. I am not very optimistic about the short term future of India, but very optimistic about the long term future of India. And I always mention the youth and the way that they think and how much more progressive they are relative to the older generation. And you cannot be like if you look at the youth in India and also the level of entrepreneurship and, you know, the interest in education and the interest in being connected to the rest of the world, when you see that there's no way you cannot be hopeful about the future of, of India, you know, so don't let like just because me and Susanna keep highlighting bad news about India, I, I don't want you guys to come and think like India's future is dark. OK, uh, I don't want people to come out of atheist republic with that impression we highlight the bad news because we want to make sure that Im important like mm, you know people being harmed doesn't get go unnoticed but we just because we highlight the bad news we don't want to make be responsible for people like losing hope or not having n giving up on india okay so we don't mm -hmm. want to be responsible for that so we do have to often remind people that the youth gives uh, comes with a lot of brings a lot of hope to india so that's it's good that this is the something that is being highlighted but go on i think you made a really good point like we do especially in south asia recently we do cover a lot of bad news that comes out of that region but that's because we are motivated to raise awareness about what people go through in that in those places like obviously it just is reflected in the way if, what things are covered or how often they're covered or how seriously they're taken that um, for lack of a better term, like human life just seems to cost less there, you know, or people treat it like it costs less and we want to change mm -hmm. that. And so we change that by trying to highlight, you know, these issues and talk about it more. Um, you know, or you bring, know. It, bring it to a different audience who wouldn't normally know about these things, right? but we do have to balance that with beautiful things yes you know one way to make human life um well you know people take human life the value of human life more seriously one way you know what are you going to say support atheist republic no oh i don't know do what th this is going to yes. be like this yes <laughs> this is this is how you remind people about how precious human life is mm -hmm. okay by taking by taking the ex every experience seriously all right um i have some co start comments do you want to oh highlight them and um, let's look through these um well we already covered most of them um but oh, okay, rudrush okay. is saying just... i have hope with young I have hope with young as young people want to eradicate caste system more than the previous generations. Yes. Here's yeah. hoping to that. I'll, yes. I'll, I'll raise a glass to that. Um, and Nobara is saying, good job, Atheist Republic India. That's the way to go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to them, to those people who did this. Um, yeah, I hope like we get to... I mean, if they don't want to dump, like, we're not going to pressure them, obviously. But if they do, if they're interested in coming and speaking to us, that would be great. Yeah, um, I'd really like to talk to them. You know, yeah. It also feels really good to do something like this. You got, if you try it, like, some people think, like, like, if you, if you ever try something, like, being, doing something like that, the you will get addicted to the rewards, the feeling that you get from it. So mm -hmm. Just try it and see what you get, what it feels like. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. 
We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.